Hello everyone and welcome back to Walcott Fine Art. And so today's going to be a little bit different in that I'm going to review a watercolor product rather than an oil uh, or pastel product. Now I typically work in oils and pastels. I'm not a watercolorist, but it is something that I'm interested in. And so, you know, recently over the past few months, I've been experimenting with it and trying to learn about it. And I don't have anything that I would show yet, but um, I wanted to do a review, a review today of a new product I just got uh, just for fun. It's an unboxing and a review. And so what it is, is this set of Lucas 1862 uh, watercolors in this little um, like travel tin. And I saw this reviewed uh, by uh, Marty Owings. Uh, now he's got a great channel where he does a lot of really in-depth reviews about all different brands of watercolor and all different kinds of drawing materials and watercolor paper and things like that. So that's a great channel to check out. And I'll put a link to his video about these watercolors below. Uh, but this is a just a little one that I thought I'd do for fun. But before I show you the watercolor set, I wanted to show you what Jerry's Artorama sent me. And I think it's because I live in California. But along with my order for the watercolors, I got a coupon for 10% off an order of cannabis <laughs> from Big Moon Sky. <laughs> So uh, I guess they want their customers to be happy. Go figure. Uh, anyway, so uh, so this um, now Lucas 1862. I use a lot of their oil colors. They have really really nice oil paints. So I wanted to try their watercolor uh, paints, and these are the uh, watercolors in the pan rather than the tubed watercolors. But what I was not expecting was to get this in this beautiful box. So it looks like what they did here when you open it, and you can see there's a little cellophane window. It looks like what they did here is they took the tray out that's going to go in the little metal tin and separated that so they could put it here in the, in the box and have the window where you could see everything that was in the set. And I was really, really happy with all the colors that uh, come with this set. There's a warm and cool of each primary. Um, and the only one that I wasn't real thrilled about was the, uh, it comes with the chromium oxide green, which is a color that's traditionally been used in oil paints. I don't care for it. It's kind of dull and opaque, and uh, I just didn't feel like it would make a good watercolor um, color. So... Uh, to just to replace that one color, I ordered an extra um, olive green to go in this set when this is a more transparent color. Um, but other than that, I think they have a really good set of colors here. So let's go ahead and open this up. I just was so impressed with how how beautiful the box was and how, how nice it was packaged. So... I'll slide this out. Uh, yep, and just as I figured, the tin is here. Um, and as with most of these watercolor tins like this, the little metal tray that goes inside is re actually removable. So you just take it out. So this is the tin that holds it. And then this goes in here. And then... It closes up like that. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and unwrap these and get them all set up, get my olive green uh, in there, and then I will do a little paint out of each color and I'll tell you what they are. Uh, and then you can kind of decide for yourself if maybe you might want to give this a try. Okay, so I've got most of these unwrapped and I thought I would save the last one for you guys. Uh, just in case anyone here is unfamiliar with how watercolor pans come in the package, I can show you um, how they're packaged. So uh, they come in these little foil wrappers. Now these are full pans, and I got this set of 12 full pans. 
you can order the same size case that comes with 24 half pans or and they have larger sets too but I got the 12 full pans uh, and this is the last one that I haven't unwrapped yet so what I did here is you just tear off the outer cover and then I cut I just did this I cut this center top section out of the label and then using a glue stick I just glued this to a piece of paper in the same order that they're in the case uh, so so that way uh, and this is like a card just index card stock so that night I have now a record of what came in the set so and again just to remind um, what I said before is that this um, olive green I replaced that myself the set actually comes with chromium oxide green uh, but as I said I don't find that to be a particularly useful color so I replaced this with olive green uh, and then this last one is Payne's gray and then you just take the foil wrapper off and then the way these work is you put it in with the this corner down first like this Sorry. so the so the front corner goes down in first and then you just press it until it snaps into place so that's how you put these guys into these uh, containers so anyway so the colors included in this set um, let me turn this over, are uh, lemon yellow a permanent lemon yellow cadmium yellow light yellow ochre cadmium red light, magenta primary red, which is quinacridone, uh, cyan primary, which is uh, a light version of phthalo blue, uh, ultramarine blue, uh, this is of course the olive green, but as I said, it comes with the chromium oxide green, uh, the phthalo green, uh, English red, which is kind of like a burnt sienna or a red ochre type color, raw sienna and Payne's gray. Uh, and I think they did a really good job in choosing the colors in this set of getting a really well-rounded selection of colors. There's, a, like I said, a warm and a cool of each primary, a couple of neutrals here at the end. So uh, this will give you a really wide range of color mixes. So, so they chose really well. So let's take a look at what the paints actually look like. Okay, so I got some water here and... We're just going to test these to see how they, how they look. So this is the lemon yellow. That's a really nice, pretty bright yellow. So let's try the cadmium yellow light. Ooh, that's nice. It's a nice yellow. This is the yellow ochre. They seem to activate really, very well. Like I don't have to, sometimes with the pans like this, you can have to scrub at it a little bit with water to get it started but these are these are uh, activating right away and making a nice well, that's a nice color that's the cadmium red light so far these seem really nice This is the quinacridone magenta, or magenta primary, as it's called, they call it. And that's the same, I use that same color in my oil painting, uh, their magenta primary, because it's the quinacridone magenta that I mentioned in several of my videos. And uh, so that's really nice, it looks really nice in oil colors as well. And, uh, and then this is the primary blue. 
which is actually a thalo blue. Uh, that's a nice color. Very nice rich blue. And moving on to the ultramarine blue. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, these are these are coming up really nicely. Um, they're, they're really easy to Now this is the olive green, which is the color that I replaced. It was originally there. Yeah, that's a nice color because it's like a nice warm green, but it's kind of transparent. Um, and I mentioned earlier, uh, Marty Owings uh, reviewed these, and um, when he did it, he he showed the uh, chromium oxide green that comes with it. And it's just not, it's not an appealing color to me, so. <laughs> I didn't want to use it. And this is Thalo Green. Ooh, that's nice. Pretty color. And then English Red. Yeah, so you can see that's like a nice burnt sienna kind of color. Or reddish. Or you could also maybe call it Venetian Red or Red Ochre. Nice neutral, and then raw umber, which is a great sort of warm neutral tone. And last but not least, Payne's Gray. Yeah, that's nice. So you got kind of a warm neutral and a cool neutral here in this set. So like I said, I you know, that's a really well chosen set of colors. Uh, they're all very transparent and very luminous, and uh, these are really beautiful, beautiful uh, colors from what I can see. Uh, like I said, they activate really well in the pan, so you don't have to scrub at it, and the color is very saturated and rich. So, so far, these are really nice. Um, you know, obviously, I haven't used them other than this, but uh, as I get more familiar with watercolor... Uh, I'm sure they'll they'll do fine. So I would recommend these, at least from what little uh, that I've seen here. Uh, they, they seem to be really nice, and they're very a uh, Lucas. You know, they're 1862 line Lucas. They make really nice, really nice art stuff. Uh, really nice oil paints. Really nice watercolors, as you can see here. Uh, and in uh, in the U.S., you can get them from one place only, and that's Jerry's Artorama. Uh, now I should say I'm not being endorsed by any of these companies to do this this is just my own personal review i purchased this with my own money um so just so we're clear on that uh so i hope this gives you a little bit of a look into the lucas 1862 watercolor set and i thank you for watching and take care thanks so much for watching go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you won't miss the next video and why not spread the joy be sure to share my videos on your favorite social media. Don't forget to head on over to my website, walcottfineart.com, where you can see my art, read my blog, or when you join my newsletter list, you can win free art. Every month, I'll choose a lucky winner for my email list, and that person will receive a mini original oil painting. There's a chance to win every month, so be sure to sign up today so you don't miss out. Plus, you'll get my fun newsletter. See you next time.